here's your warm up for Friday. We have two rounds, 30 seconds each movement. You're gonna start with touchdown jacks. So touching in between, feet start together. I'm gonna to go touch, jump, touch, jump, touch. So that touch is a hinge. It should look like you look at the bottom of your snatch when you're picking up the dumbbell off the floor. So after 30 seconds of touchdown jacks, I'm gonna go reverse lunge to a twist. So just take a step back, slidey floor, twist, step together, step back, twist, step together. 30 seconds of that, and then we're going 30 seconds of inchworms. If you wanna add a push-up, you can. If not, that's fine. Legs nice and straight. Walk all the way out to that plank position and all the way back, all right? This is probably a better angle for you. Walk all the way out, plank, walk all the way back. 30 seconds of that. Then we have 30 seconds of up-down. So just our burpee without a push-up or a jump. So hands down, jump out, jump in, and stand. Out and stand. Do not do this in your socks on the wood floor. This is a really bad idea. And then finally, we have penguin back scratchers. So this is a nice little oblique exercise. Laying on your back, move back so you can see me. All right, from here, I'm gonna lift my head and shoulders off the ground and I'm touching one heel, touch, 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 touch. The farther away I move my feet, the harder this is because then I can't reach. Then I have to really turn to touch. So we wanna make it hard do that, but make sure you keep your shoulders off the ground the whole time. So we have 30 seconds of all of those movements two times through. Then we're gonna go into our ankle stretch because we have some overhead squats today in our dumbbell squat snatches. So for the ankle stretch, I would recommend something soft under one of your knees. You can just take a nice little lunge on the floor and you're gonna lean forward, right? We're trying to get that toe, that uh, knee over the toe here like if you were in a really deep squat position. And we're gonna hang out here for two minutes. So get really comfortable there. If this isn't comfortable, I like to kind of sit and then lean my body into it. It's totally up to you. So you're gonna spend two minutes on one side and then you're gonna go into our lying overhead reach. So this is gonna be really good for opening up those shoulders and getting some movement in your upper back. So all you're gonna need is something light. Um, I'm gonna use a book. So you're gonna lie on the ground, just like in our dead bugs, we wanna have our back nice and flat. Okay, so make sure that back stays pushed down the entire time. Let's scoot a little this way so I don't hit the chair. Arms staying straight, we're gonna reach. This was not the best setup, I'm sorry. Here we go. All right, nope, still not good. This is a really professional video here. Okay, so back nice and flat, arms stay straight. I'm gonna reach all the way behind me and then come back to where I started. Okay, so lower back down into the ground, reach, 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 arm straight, arm straight, arm straight, and then come back. If you're really tight like me, it's a struggle to get your arms all the way back because this wants to happen and we want to make sure this stays down. If you have awesome overhead mobility, you might feel like you're not doing anything. Just slow it down a little bit and that should make it a little bit harder. Then I'm going to go into two minute ankle stretch on the other ankle that I didn't do already. So remember which one it was. And then one minute of prisoner squats. So for this, Feet in your regular squat stance. Don't go like crazy wide or anything. You're like turn your toes like that. Just your regular stance. Hands behind the head. And I'm going to squat trying to keep my chest nice and tall. And then stand. So nice control on the descent. Hold for a second and stand. And you're going to do that for one minute. Just one round of that. And then you're ready to go into your workout.